You're watching Surf Line Trick Tips, and we're going to discuss the floater with your host, CJ Howgood. Pretty much whenever you're doing a floater, since you're obviously clearing a section to set up for your next turn, um, when you come into it, you're, you want to just have your, your momentum going forward, you know? Um, and sometimes it's to bleed speed if you have too much speed, just you're setting up for your turn, or sometimes you need to just generate speed to get to that next section so you can nail it. When I'm going up and doing the floater, I don't I don't do a big bottom turn. I'm just like kind of mid face. Um, I just draw on a high line. I just get up on the floater, and the whole time I'm on the floater, I'm just thinking like, am I going to come off this floater and need a boogie down the line to start doing all my maneuvers? Or am I just cruising off this floater, my weight on my back foot, and just dropping straight to the bottom and just doing a big bottom turn, kind of hit, and it's pretty much your two options. Whenever I'm doing a backside floater and, and a frontside floater, you always want to keep your head down the line. Don't you know? Don't be looking out the back. Don't be looking to the beach. Just keep your head down the line where you want to go. So when you go up on the floater, I, I tend to have my front foot up. But you know, and if you're trying to clear a section, you just want to go bam into that because you want to get your your weight and your momentum going forward. So um, and then when you're up on that floater and you got all that speed, then you can kind of put your back foot back and get that tail drop that I'm talking about. Or if you're flying and it's a big section you need to get over it, you're kind of just coming up. You're, my foot's on the tail and you're just going bam and then like that. And that's when you're going to fly off the floater really quick. But if you're going to go up there and stay for a while, then you have all the speed and you kind of just go up there. And that's when you can rock and roll and that's when you want to put your foot back and tail drop back down. A good indication that you've done the floater correctly is just as quick as you went into that floater and went up on that floater, you're coming off just as quick. And, um, and when you land, you're just, you're actually going faster almost. And it's just this good over your board feeling where you just have all this speed and it feels like you're generating more speed. Well, hopefully I was a little bit of help on the floater. Um, yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to go out there and do it and uh, stick one for me, all right?